Hey, what's up guys? So from popular requests, I've been asked to do a video to follow up on the um, addition or adding numbers in assembly language to subtraction using assembly language, which is pretty much almost the same procedure as doing addition, except there's just a couple little extra commands we need to put in there for um, setting the carry flag instead of clearing the carry flag. So let's take a look at subtraction in assembly language. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so we've got our code typed in. Let's go ahead and break it down, see what we're doing here. So up here at the top, we're obviously gonna be setting our program address to 4000. That's what we've been doing in all of our uh, examples that we've been typing. Line 10 to comment, line 20. This is our OPT directive, which tells the compiler that we're actually gonna be creating objective code, object code in memory, excuse me. Now I've got three labels that I've defined here, num1, num2, and diff. Num1 is going to store our first number that we're going to be using, and num2 is going to be the second number we're going to be using. And the diff variable or not label is memory location is going to store the difference between the two numbers. I've been asked um, why I use CB through CF. Um, basically, CB uh, through CF, actually CB through D1, I, be, I believe, um, in page zero of the Atari memory is unused by Atari BASIC. That's the first thing. And uh, I believe there it's documented that they're also not used by any of the assembler editors, meaning the Atari assembler editor or the Mac 65 assembler slash debugger. So these are good address memory locations in page zero for doing math operations. Okay, so that that basically sets those three up. So let's go on with the listing here. The next thing we're going to do in line 60 is we're going to clear the decimal mode of the 6502 processor. We haven't talked about that yet. We will in a future video, but for now we need to clear out a decimal mode if it's already in decimal mode. It's very uh, common to do this uh, when you're going to do math operations if you're not using decimal, decimal mode. Um, we're also going to set the carry flag. Um, this is the opposite of when we were doing addition in 6502 assembly where we would actually clear the carry flag before we do our addition. When we're doing subtraction, subtraction, we're going to set the carry flag. That's with the SEC instruction. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set up the numbers that we're going to be subtracting. And that's what we're doing here in line 100 through 170. So basically, we're going to load the accumulator with A, which is 10 in decimal. And we're going to store that into the low byte of num1. And then we're going to store 00, 0 in the high byte of num1. So what this is going to look like in the computer's memory, excuse me, is that's going to look like this. CB is going to be, can't type today, guys. This is what it's going to look like in memory. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the, um, the low byte is going to be A and the high byte is going to be 00, zero which we know in correctness is 0008 zero, 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 or 10. Okay, so let's get rid of that. 
Um, the next instruction we have here is we're, that we're then going to load the high byte. Or we're going to set up the high byte of the first number. And I'm telling you guys, I just cannot type today. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, here we go. As I get my keystrokes down, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we're setting zero, zero into the accumulator and then we're storing that into the high byte of num1. So that takes care of the first number. We're gonna basically do the same operations down here into the second number. We're loading the accumulator with one, storing that, <coughs> excuse me, into the low byte of num2. And we're loading zero, zero into the high byte and storing that into num2, the high byte of num2. So num2 in memory is gonna look like this. Zero, one, zero, zero. And um, uh, CB, CC, this is gonna be CD. CE, which really equates to 0001, proper format. Okay, so basically what we're doing is we are taking 000A and we're subtracting 0001, and that at the end is going to give us 0009. So let's keep going. So we set up num1, we set up num2. So let's actually do the subtraction. So let's load into the accumulator the low byte, low byte of num1. And this is our 0a for you guys to remember. And we are subtracting from that the low byte of num2 which in our case is zero, 01. And we're storing the results of that subtract, the abstraction, we have the subtraction that's in the accumulator into diff, low byte of diff, which is gonna, in our case, is gonna be 09 right now. Okay? Everybody see how that worked? And then we have to take care of the high byte, which we know both of the high bytes are zero. So we're loading the accumulator with zero here and we're subtracting zero and we're storing zero. So it's a pretty simple operation. Let's see if this assembles, then we'll look at it in the debugger. All right, so let's enter our debugger. Um, if those of you who are watching this video, if you haven't seen the video on how to use the Mac 65 assembler, um, I'll throw the link up top. Take a look at that video and it'll explain to you what we're doing here as far as going into the debugger and how it works. So we're here in our debugger. Let's set our program counter to 4,000. And let's go ahead and step through iteratively. And actually, let's go, let's go operation instruction by instruction. So 4,000, we're gonna clear the decimal flag. We're gonna set the carry flag. We're loading the accumulator with zero. We're storing that into the low byte of num1. We're loading the accumulator with zero. We're storing that into the high byte of num1. Now we're gonna load a zero, 01 into the accumulator. That's gonna store that into the low byte of num2. Now we're loading zero, 00 into the accumulator and storing that into the high byte of num2. So now we have num1 set up and we have num2 set up in memory, ready for the subtraction, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and load up the, um, uh, the low byte of the num1. And we're subtracting from that the low byte of num2. That's going to give us a result of 0, 09. You can see that in the accumulator down in our register window. And we're going to store that into the low byte of our difference. And we're going to handle the same operation high byte, subtract, and store. So now what we can do is we can go and examine memory location CF, which is the memory location for our difference between the two numbers. And you can see low byte, high byte, CF, D0, 0900, which 
improper ending would be 0, 0, 0, 9. So we took A, we subtracted 1, we ended up with 0, 9. So the math worked. Let's go back to the code and let's raise number 1 from a 10. Let's make the low byte 0 and let's bring the high byte to 0, 1 which in effect means now we're going to be taking 0, 100 and subtracting 1, which for all intents and purposes is 256, because 0, 100 in hex in decimal is 256, so we're subtracting 1, which should give us 255, or we should be left with FF in the low byte of our difference. So let's go ahead and assemble that. Go into our debugger, program counter 4000, and this time I'm just gonna go ahead and let it execute until it breaks. Let's go ahead and examine memory location CF, and there you have it. D0, 0, 0, CF, FF. So we took the full 16 byte value and we subtracted the full 16 byte num2, and we got a proper um, difference. So you can see the addition is almost exactly like, I'm sorry, the subtraction is almost exactly, you know, the setup as the addition. The only difference is we're setting the carry flag before we do our math with SEC. And instead of adding with carry, we're doing subtraction with carry, SBC. Other than that, the two programs are pretty much identical, okay? So there you have it, subtraction in assembly language 6502. Thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and give me some comments if you have any ideas on some videos you'd like to see. Um, I'll go ahead and continue this series of doing math in 6502 by doing some multiplication and division. Um, I'll get those videos out as soon as possible. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. Go Atari.